and it is, providing you aren't the staff that work behind the scenes. Now on Dave, it's Airport. Sunday lunchtime at Heathrow Airport. Air traffic control are dealing with an emergency. Tell him 483. Any indication as to your intentions yet? Uh, yes, sir. We uh, have the intention to uh, make an emergency landing uh, at uh, Heathrow, and this is due to the uh, unsafe gear. Uh, we need approximately uh, 15 minutes uh, for the preparation, and then we'd like to start the approach. Mr. Flight 483 is now 12 miles out. Heathrow's southern runway is cleared for its arrival. Hello, 483, could you tell me, uh, is the gear visually down? Well, we can have a uh, look outside uh, the cabin uh, into the uh, landing gear system. It is down, but visually it can be seen as not locked, so there's a high risk of... Uh, of collection uh, of the gear after touchdown. Eight miles from Heathrow, flight 483 has just four minutes to go. Hello, 483, wouldn't you give me a uh, number of uh, people on board, please? Uh, POB is uh, 45, uh, Canon 483. And uh, just to be sure, we would like to uh, declare an emergency. That is uh, Mayday, 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 Canon 483. Unsafe uh, main gear indication. Uh, at this uh, present uh, status, we have 600 kilogram uh, fuel left, which uh, gives us a, uh, a low fuel emergency upon landing. And we expect a uh, collapse of the left hand main gear upon touchdown. Calum 43, Roger. Roger, your mayday, and the rest of the message understood. Fine, good luck. Calum 43, thank you. Heathrow receives only two mayday calls a year. The airport is on full alert. First passengers are off the plane in just 16 seconds. In less than a minute, everyone is out. Hello. Hi, yeah, what's, what's actually happened? Journalist Steve Meller is one of Heathrow's resident press corps. A plane crash means a story, and Steve's hoping for a scoop. Yeah. It's a Fokker 50, yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Down shoots was that. It was an arriving flight from Rotterdam, wasn't it? OK. Was it coming in on an emergency or anything like that? OK. What was your response time to actually getting somebody out there? Right. OK. Right. Do you know where the passengers are? John? Yeah, sure. Also in search of passengers from Flight 483 is photographer Dennis Stone. He's worked at the airport for more than 50 years. He's usually snapping celebrities. I don't like aeroplane crashes. I'm much rather they're doing people like Rod Stewart was happy and glad to be here and Christmas stories. I don't like aeroplane crashes at all. Doesn't do us any good at all, no. especially at Christmas. But they can't confirm where the passengers are or anything. There's 41 people on it, all safely disembarked. Um, no injuries at all. Uh, so they're here somewhere, so we've got to find them. In Terminal 3, there are plenty of passengers, but Virgin Atlantic has no plane to put them on. Unfortunately, we've got a hydraulics problem in, um, with an aircraft in Washington, and um, we've had to cancel the flight. Ginny Biffa is Virgin's duty flight supervisor. 
She has 230 passengers who've booked direct flights to Washington. They don't yet know that their plans have been disrupted. This is the first bulk of passengers that we've seen. They're just waiting to be rebooked onto um, the other flights at the moment. And then we've got a whole load of passengers over there as well that we're just trying to sort out. Jill, hi, it's me. Um, what I need is um, the bulk of the floor walkers just going through the queues and explaining to these people what's happening. Um, you know, if we can just get people out there milling with everybody. The Washington passengers may have to change airlines and perhaps even airports. Right, ladies, what I need you to do is to start going through the queues and just explain to people that it is taking time getting them sorted out here. Yeah. But obviously, we'll get to them as quickly as we can, but it is going to take time. They just need to be patient. Across the airport, Steve's patience is already being stretched. These things always happen on a Sunday where you can never, ever get hold of anybody. So, um... On a weekday, you get help very quickly. Uh, on a Sunday, you've got to page people. Uh, people don't answer their pages because the whole world wants to know what's happening. Yep. Are the passengers in here? Yes. Yes. Can we have a word with one of them, one or two of them, just to find out what happened? That's we what we want to know. We will ask if anybody wants to talk to the press. But yeah. Can you say? That, I can't yeah, guarantee. Can you phrase it that we'd like? To, to speak to them, not you don't want to talk to them, please. We will say the press mm -hmm. are anxious to speak to anybody. Yes. But yeah. that's all I just, can Just, you know, just one person to just tell us what happened. That sort of thing, so there's no, no problem. Yeah. You know. But obviously some people are still mm. a bit upset. We'll ask I, I can question. understand that. I can understand. Um, it's like it's a young sort of student do. type or something like that. Then, isn't it? OK. Found, <sighs> found the passengers anyway. They're going to ask somebody if they'll come out and talk to us. Um, I think the chances of that, the world they're afraid, they all uh, phrase the question, is fairly remote. But as I say, well, it just means doorstepping us and hoping to catch somebody when they come out, because normally people are quite keen to sort of say if they've been involved in some sort of drama, what happened? You know? So, uh, anyway, so it's just a case of waiting and see what happens. Is that going to be a direct... Meanwhile, the Washington passengers are not taking kindly to being rerouted. Why can't we transfer over to another airline? There is no airlines with connections, sir. This is a problem. What, from here? Yeah. Well, well, what about transferring over to BA or somewhere like that? They're full as well. You see, unfortunately, United have got the same problem. They've cancelled their flights. And so everybody's trying to get problem? seats. Um, we had a technical problem with the aircraft. The aircraft's still in Washington. So the aircraft isn't serviceable at the moment, which is why we've had to cancel the flight. But that's the best alternative we have. Other than that, we can put you up in a hotel this evening and put you on the flight tomorrow. Uh -huh. But if you have to get out there today, I'm afraid that's the only option that we have. I have cancer, and she's had cancer. And we both have enough medicine to get just through the day. We paid for a direct flight. Yeah. We should get Unfortunately, though, this circumstance has now arisen, and obviously we're trying to get back Why everybody's... Why call us before we left the airport? This because we can't call everybody, ma'am. There's no way that we can call all passengers. And then there's a bus taking you to Gatwick, and again, you we can have, have to some... go to another airport? Yes, th there is no direct flight. See, the problem is as well, another airline have cancelled as well. Sorry? How do we get to Gatwick? We're, we're, we're arranging coaches for you to take you down to yeah, Gatwick. A customer get service someone, if you want someone to help you with your I'd like to have that as well. well. Yes, certainly. I'll be back to you in a couple of moments. OK. It has never happened to me. I have been to China and I've never had this problem. Yeah. At the moment, um, the only thing that we can do is um, obviously sort them out with their flights and make them as comfortable as possible. And if there's any way that we can help them with medication or something like that, then, uh, you know, we'll be quite happy to do that. But um, at the moment, unfortunately, that's the only flight that we can uh, make them available on, put them on, rather. <laughs> and the hair is actually reflecting how the day is going. <laughs> well, it's not too bad. No, I always say that if, if I've had a bad day, it reflects in my hair. And I don't know.